A given object takes n times the time to slide down 45 degrees rough inclined plane as it takes the time to slide down an identical perfectly smooth 45 degrees inclined plane. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the object and the surface of the inclined plane is in given question first inclined plane is smooth inclined plane. Angle of inclination is 45 degrees. And the second inclined plane is rough inclined plane. Here also angle of inclination is 45 degrees. On these two inclined planes let us place a body of mass M. Yet this block is the same and the length of the inclined planes also same. Angle of inclination is the same. But the only difference is first inclined plane is smooth inclined plane and the second inclined plane is rough inclined plane. We know weight of the block resolved into two components. One is mg cos theta. This mg cos theta balances the normal reaction and another one is mg sin theta mg sin theta acting along the inclined plane in downward direction here initial speed of these two blocks is zero these two blocks starts from the rest position now here mg sin theta acting in downward direction so in first case the resultant force is equals to mg sin theta F equals to MA, MA is equals to MG sin theta, mass get cancelled, acceleration in case of the smooth inclined plane is A is equals to G sin theta. Now what about the acceleration in the second inclined plane? Here not only MG sin theta, frictional force also acting on this surface. Whenever the block moving in downward direction, then frictional force acting in opposite direction. We know frictional force is equals to coefficient of friction into normal reaction. Here normal reaction is equals to mg cos theta. So due to the difference of these two forces mg sin theta and frictional force, this block is moving in downward direction along the inclined plane. So mg sin theta minus frictional force is equals to mass into acceleration of the block in second case. mg sin theta minus mu n directly take mu mg cos theta is equals to ma. Take mass common and cancel on both sides. Acceleration is equals to g sin theta minus mu g cos theta. Take g also common g into sin theta minus mu cos theta. So this is the acceleration of the block when the block is placed on the rough inclined plane. So try to understand the difference in first case block is placed on the smooth inclined plane acceleration formula g sin theta. And the same block is placed on the rough inclined plane acceleration formula a equals to g into sin theta minus mu cos theta. Now coming to the question what is the given condition? A given object takes n times the time to slide down 45 degree rough inclined plane as it takes the time to slide down an identical perfectly smooth inclined plane. So this is a smooth inclined plane and this is a rough inclined plane. Let us take T1 is the time taken by this block to slide along the inclined plane. And T2 is the time taken by the second block to slide down along the inclined plane. The given condition where it takes more time either rough inclined plane or smooth inclined plane. On smooth inclined plane the time is less and rough inclined plane it takes more time. So T2 is greater than T1 and the given condition is T2 is n times the T1. T2 is equals to n T1. Take the equations of motion S equals to ut plus half at square. 
here initial velocity of the blocks rest position initial velocity zero so half a t square time is equals to square root of 2 s by a this is the formula for the time along the inclined plane so in place of t2 this is rough inclined surface square root of 2 s by acceleration along the rough inclined plane g into sin theta minus mu cos theta is equals to n into square root of 2 s by g sin theta. Here distance, the length of the inclined plane is same only. Squaring on both sides 2 s by g of sin theta minus mu cos theta is equals to n square into 2s by g sin theta. On both sides g get cancelled, 2s also get cancelled. Here angle is 45 degrees, sin 45 degree value 1 by root 2 and also cos 45 degree value 1 by root 2. Now take the cross multiplication, sin theta is equals to n square into sin theta minus mu cos theta. So, sin 45 degrees value 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2 into n square. Here also take 1 by root 2 common. 1 by root 2 into 1 minus mu. On both sides 1 by root 2 get cancelled. So, 1 minus mu is equals to 1 by n square. Then mu is equals to 1 minus 1 by n square. This is the coefficient of kinetic friction in between the object and the surface of the rough inclined plane. Third option is correct.